This week on Between the Bites, we give you two tech powerhouses teaming up to take on another, some overstock updates here, and then some local billboard updates as well. Stay tuned. Welcome to Between the Bites, where we're not as smart as your average nerd. I'm Gary Arnold. And I'm Rosh Beck Shandifor. Alexa, how are you doing today? I'm great. I hope you are too. Thanks. Thank you. Our first bit of news comes from Microsoft and Amazon in an unlikely team-up. These two compete fiercely in the cloud arena and data storage. The two have come together for artificial intelligence, machine learning. Uh, a new machine learning program or software has now been made available called Gluon. Uh, with Gluon, developers will be able to use Amazon and Microsoft's machine learning algorithms to use in their own apps and other applications, both in the Microsoft platform uh, and in other platforms on Amazon Web Services. Uh, they're coming together, it seems, to compete more directly with Google, which has been kind of the leader when it comes to machine learning and artificial intelligence. I'm sure we will see more about this in future months. Absolutely. The only thing more power powerful than one tech powerhouse is two. Two tech powerhouses. Great. Really cool. Next, we have some more AR and VR news. Microsoft has now released their Mixed Reality uh, it's, a, it's a headset that is for both augmented reality and virtual reality that a lot of software developers are actually currently using in other platforms such as HTC and Vizio. It's, uh, it's meant to compete with, uh, with the Oculus Rift that we have mentioned here on Between the Bytes before and its starting prices are anywhere from $299 to $530. It's becoming huge. It is. So huge, in fact, that it's our next headline. Overstock.com, which was actually founded and based here in Utah, just announced that they are releasing an app that uses iOS 11's uh, AR kit features. So this new app, you'll be able to download and be browsing Overstock.com, looking for your furniture, whatever you want, and be able to use your phone to visualize what a piece of furniture will look like in your home in real time. So there's digital, virtual reality versions of furniture they've loaded in the app. You'll be able to take a picture and say, oh, that's what it's going to look like there. Uh, the app is available now, and so you'll be able to download it and start shopping away. Pretty cool feature for Makes an online catalog YouTube. shopping a lot easier. That's right. It's really cool. Next, as many of you may have noticed over the last handful of years, there's been an increase in blip billboards. They are the billboards that change different ads, and they kind of just circulate. They have partnered with Yesco nationwide, and Yesco has actually funded uh, an increase in blip billboards, and blip has now accounted for over about 11% of digital revenue for billboard advertising. So billboards are hoping that's the future of, of where their advertising is going, and, and blip, it's, it seems like it's been working. Definitely a smarter way to do billboards. It is. A very old, antiquated way to advertise with a modern spin on it. It's gone digital. It's awesome. Yep. Hey, welcome to Between the Bytes Frontline, where we're bringing you breaking news on cyber threats and digital security. This week we have a very important update concerning Wi-Fi protocol. A weakness has been found in Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi itself, meaning any device that connects to Wi-Fi, there is now a threat to where hackers could get in and see all information being exchanged on Wi-Fi. The weakness is in the WPA2 protocol, um, and it's a big threat that's widespread and can affect any device that connects to Wi-Fi. Fortunately, a lot of companies are already ahead of the game. Um, a lot of network routers and other uh, hardware providers have already uh, offered patches that prevent this from happening in the first place. Microsoft and others have also uh, sent out patches for their devices. Uh, an important thing to remember, and this is our tech tip of the week, is that when browsing the web, make sure that you are browsing securely. Look for websites that have the HTTPS uh, as part of the URL. This security certificate will make sure that everything that happens on that website is encoded and secure. So that if even somebody was able to break in and use this uh, weakness in Wi-Fi, they wouldn't be able to see the data in the first place. We will have more information forthcoming about this 
uh, new breaking news, uh, make sure to, st to check out Executech.com where we'll have articles and tips on ways to prevent threats like this down the line and how using uh, up-to-date IT services and IT practices will help protect you against digital threats. That's it for this week's uh, Between the Bytes Frontline News. Thanks. Hey, I made it. I'm back. All right. Could you uh, switch couches on us? No. Oh, huh. cool. No. Does it look different? Uh, it's, uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. So this week on Between the Bytes Tech History. We give you your very own loved IMDB, Internet Movie Database, was founded in 1990, 30, 27 years ago, today. Pretty crazy. Also today, Thomas Edison submitted the patent for the first known video camera. It went by a very different name back then. They called it the Optical Phonograph. So another fun fact about today's history. And lastly, Microsoft in 2013, after taking it away for a little while and, and many user complaints, brought back their loved start button. So thanks for bringing that back, Microsoft. Start button's back home. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And that'll do it for this week's Between the Bytes. We appreciate you guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe our YouTube page and follow us on social media. We look forward to seeing you next week. We'll see you next week.